My name is Ivan Julian. Today is January 23rd, 2016, last fall, around October. I was diagnosed with cancer. I have cancer. This is what cancer can look like, what you're seeing. Since then, I've been to chemo and radiation five days a week, every week, in an effort to cure this. It's been the most painful experience of my life. I'm coming to you to tell you some parts of my ordeal, something I hope will help people in my situation, and to thank those that have helped me and supported me through all this. One of the things I want to say is, if you feel something, and you keep feeling something, and the homeopathic medicines don't work, which they can, if they don't work, you have to go see a doctor. And the doctor you may have to see may not be an Eastern doctor or a homeopathic doctor. And the doctor you may see, you probably won't be able to afford unless you get health insurance. Throughout this whole ordeal, and as painful as it was, and as brutal as it was, the hardest part of my struggle was trying to find the right health insurance and making life or death choices so that the insurance I chose would pay for the treatment that I would never be able to afford and most people can't afford. The people I found to help me through um, the health insurance search is an organization called HOWL, um, which is an organization that helps artists from the Lower East Side um, when they're in dire need of you know, uh, financial help or, or or if they get in trouble with somehow. They sent me to a, um, an organization that was part of HAL, and it guided me towards the right health insurance company. I really appreciate, I really do appreciate the love that's been given to me. It's like made all those nights of riding in the back of a van worthwhile. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. What I've learned is um, the medical profession is, is, I mean, in America, it, it's a business. I mean, and, and it's a profession, and in every profession, there are good professionals and there are bad professionals. And what I've learned is, like, never let yourself be treated like um, a specimen of a veterinarian. You have feelings, you have, you have, you know, I mean, and they should address these feelings and not address you like case number 34.5. You should make sure that you be treated fairly, if not, Go find another doctor. Go find someone that, along with the laboratory um, techniques that they've learned, they've also learned the Hippocratic Oath. They've also learned compassion, because that's part of healing. I've always thought that before I got sick with this. I would say almost 50% of healing is compassion and caring. What changed me the most after um, but being diagnosed, you, you, you realize you might not wake up tomorrow or the next day or the next week or the next month. There's a possibility that yes, you may die, but when you have time to contemplate, you know, how many hours or days you have left, um, it, it makes you realize how you want to spend the rest of the time you may have, have left and what's important, you know what I mean? And and it makes you question how have you, have you spent the prior part of your life as well. It's like, I mean, what have, what have I done? I mean, have I done enough? I mean, you know, I mean, have I been good to people? Have I been shallow? Um, you, you, you ponder all these things. You ponder your life. But more importantly, I think you ponder, let's say I have another week or two to live. How will I spend that week? And you, and you seriously, unromantically, have to address that. Another hard part of that, and the hardest part of that, was finding the right health insurance and being directed towards the health insurance because I was told that unless I got proper health insurance, there's nothing they could do. And I would die. So I had to somehow struggle through the bureaucracy and everything and find the right insurance company and the right people that would guide me towards proper treatment so that maybe I can live. I'm trying, and 
I just hope the situation improves for anyone that comes after me in, in, in America, the United States of America. Because, I mean, it's gotten better, but it's still an awful ordeal for anyone to have to go through while they're ill.